Some people complain when we focus on aggressive police state tactics at a local level. Because the Tenth Amendment leaves so many issues to the states, they say, these things should be of no concern to the Tenth Amendment Center. But they miss two important facts. First of all, many of the worst local programs are either done in support of unconstitutional federal acts or regulations, or they're funded by unconstitutional federal grants. Take surveillance, for example. Stingray devices mimic cell phone towers. They trick all phones in a given area into connecting to it instead of the tower. Local police sweep up all the data and communications, and a lot of people rightly don't like it. But a look behind the curtain reveals that the feds are pulling the strings. The FBI generally hands these devices over to police, or they give them grant money to buy them. Then, if a Freedom of Information Act request is filed on their use, the local police are instructed by the FBI to kick such requests up to the feds, who generally ignore them. The same goes for automated license plate readers, which are operated in most every state of the country. The feds often give grant money to buy them, and eight years after the fact, it was discovered that the DEA had been getting information from many local agencies to build a nationwide license plate tracking program. Millions of people have been electronically followed by the feds with the help of your local police for the crime of driving. In short, this kind of surveillance would not be happening if it weren't for the behind-the-scenes partnerships between federal and state governments. The same scenario plays out on enforcement of all kinds of other issues like environmental regulations, educational programs, gun control measures, drug prohibition, and more. More importantly, though, people who tell us to ignore local policies ignore the founders. The Constitution wasn't created to have a limited federal government and a bunch of local tyrannies. By keeping the most difficult and divisive issues close to home, the goal was to give liberty a chance to grow everywhere. People who accept, tolerate, or even promote local violations of liberty under the guise of states' rights undermine the Founders' vision. Thank you.